Hey everybody, this is Maxine Taylor, America's first licensed astrologer, and I'm here to share my full moon ceremony with you. Uh, this is the second full moon of October. And of course, many of you know, it's on Halloween, Saturday, October 31st, here in Atlanta, which is on the Eastern time zone. It occurs at 10.50 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Convert that to your time zone so that you will be right in sync with it. And this full moon is an eight Taurus 38. Eight degrees, 38 minutes of Taurus. Find that in your birth chart and compare that with what I'm about to share with you now, which is where this full moon falls in your solar chart. Um, and you'll have the whole picture. Okay, Aries, this particular full moon is the one you've been waiting for because it comes to a head in the area of your solar chart dealing with money and finances and brings things to a head. This can be incredibly profitable for you. This is a time when you're able to deal with your own income. Have you been offered a raise, uh, a promotion of some sort that's going to bring you more money? Are you thinking in terms of how to create more passive income? This particular full moon says, I got your back. Taurus, of course, this full moon falls in your solar first house. It is your turn to do what you want, when you want, how you want, because you want, because it is your turn. Whenever you have a full moon in your sign, it's your time. It's your turn. You do things your way. Makes sense to me. Gemini, this particular full moon encourages you to pull back and retreat, to meditate, to uh, listen to source within to perhaps get away from all the hustle and bustle that's going on out there, because there's always hustle and bustle, doesn't matter if it's a lot or a little. And you want your solitude and your privacy so that you can connect with source within. Cancerians, your friends are so important to you right now, and it's your turn to be with them. They will love you, you will love them, you can be with people virtually or in person if you maintain social distance, wear a mask. Um, but this is a time that you're going to want to be with friends. Have a ball. Great, grand, glorious Leo. This full moon allows you to move upward in your career, whatever it happens to be. This gives you popularity puts you in the lead slot, go for it. No lateral moves, move upward. Virgo, you are looking very objectively and optimistically at the same time of the options that are open to you that you didn't realize you had. Higher education is possibly one of your options. Travel, uh, higher mind studies, studying philosophy, and basically seeing options you didn't know you had. I mentioned that because that's the whole point. You're dealing with principles rather than words, okay? Concepts rather than ideas, the big picture. Libra, this is very interesting. If you're involved in any type of joint financial venture, th this full moon brings it to a head so that you can reap rewards. This is also a time when secrets are very important to you. And like Gemini, you're going to want to be alone. That's what happens when this particular, when a full moon falls in this particular area of your chart. It is the area of magic, of transformation and transmutation. So I guess I'm saying, Decide what you want to be when you grow up because it's already happening. Scorpio, this full moon helps you put your attention on other people. In fact, you will be 
uh, attracted very strongly to other people, if whether they're uh, personal relations or business relations. Um, if you are partnered or married, you'll find that your partner wants more attention. My suggestion is that you give them the attention that they want, okay? Um, it's also a time when you attract people who will put themselves first, and this allows you to put them first as well. You're on the same page, right? Sagittarius, this is your time to focus on your health and your work. There are improvements in both areas. You are expanding your job and expanding your health. I love the way it looks. You want to provide service. Capricorn, it's time for you to party. It's time for fun. And if you have children, bring them into the mix, all right? Be sure that you're enjoying yourself though, whether with kids or without them, it's time to party. Aquarius, your home and family and even real estate matters are very important to you now. So my suggestion is that you focus on them, get your home and family situation worked out the way you want it to be. And lastly, Pisces. Your mind is going round and round 100 miles an hour. You've got terrific ideas. And my suggestion is that you write that blog, write that book, um, communicate with people, talk to people, play off of their ideas, share your ideas with theirs. It'll be mutually beneficial. So that's how the full moon is for all of you beautiful people. And as many of you know, because you've been to my full moon ceremonies over at the Phoenix and Dragon Bookstore in Sandy Springs, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, um, I follow a little pattern that has worked for me for years. And as spirit tells me, I modify it. Well, the next part of what we do at these wonderful full moon ceremonies is we bring a list with us of what we want to create for ourselves this month. And I'm going, and we burn those lists. Um, I usually have someone who acts as a fire starter. I've been very fortunate in that since I've been doing these video full moon ceremonies, I've used matches and they have worked. This is great. So what we do now is we burn our lists. I usually bring a very large flower pot and we burn our lists. I'm suggesting that the power of this particular group that is gathered here virtually, as well as whatever group you are in sharing this, I suggest that you might wanna use the love and the energy that we are going to be creating to put down on this list and burn it, what you would like your world to look like this month. Here in the United States, we're having a, an election and I have um, a vision of the way I want my world to be. It's a world of truth and a world of love and justice and honesty. And as I mentioned, truth and love, the two biggies. Um, a world of respect for one another. A world where people appreciate one another and act kindly and justly and fairly and honorably which means honestly. And I'm going to include that when I burn my list. And of course, I invite you to put anything on your list that you would like to create for yourself. Do you wanna create more money? This is a terrific way of doing it. And so I am going to burn 
my list, which is going to be good. And the reason we burn our lists is so that we let go of them and turn them over to source, to God. Because when you ask for something with a loving heart, and we'll take that step when we get to it right after this, when you ask coming from love, peace, joy, truth, God delivers 10 times over. God delivers more than we as earthlings can imagine. So I've got my personal list and what I want for my country and wherever you live in the world, please feel free to do the same thing. Okay, and now, those of you who know me or you know how great I am with fire, not, so let's see. There we go. And all I'm doing, and I invite you to do the same thing. I don't know if you can see that I have some earth in the bottom of this uh, wonderful bowl. And depending on the paper that you are using, that paper may not burn real well, but as you let it sit, it will burn, I hope. I'm not suggesting you put anything uh, uh, flammable on it, like light or fluid, or you'll have to grab the marshmallows, you know what I mean? Let's see if I can do it again. There we go. The paper I'm using is, is thick and shiny. And so I'm just gonna let this burn. And normally if we are at the Phoenix and Dragon bookstore, there is a, a pond, a little pond uh, off to the side. And I encourage everybody to dip their hand into that pond and just get a couple of drops of water and come over to the flower pot that is filled with uh, lists that people have brought, not just for themselves, but for their friends. Because usually uh, I would have somewhere between, oh, 50 and 70 people at a full moon ceremony and on an eclipse, it would be closer to 80. Um, and so we just let the fire go out. And of course, what you do with those ashes is entirely up to you. You can uh, fling them to the wind, you can put them in a, a plastic bag after you've burned them. What you do is you treat it sacredly as what you're asking God for, and then let it go someplace and let it out of your sight, out of your hand. And that's my suggestion to you. Okay, we have burned our lists. And uh, my suggestion is if you haven't paused the video, you might want to go ahead and, and do that. Now, the next part of the ceremony, I just adore. Um, this is the part where we get rid of what's blocking us. And we create in that way, the block to having what we really, really, really want. You have your list and it's burning. What we're going to do now is create your heart's desire. And the, the way you want to do this is so simple. You simply put your hand over your heart because the heart represents love. And when you ask, coming from a loving space, you feel it. Usually by the time in the ceremony, every, when everyone has burned their lists, 
everybody is in a state of love. And so here we are with our hands on our hearts and your attention is on your heart. And once you're in love, you extend your right hand. And what you do is you ask source, spirit, God, universal energy, whatever you call the prime force of life to give you what you would like to, you actually put that, you ask for it and you put it in your right hand. And then in your left hand, you put very, very quickly, no thought whatsoever, what's blocking you from that? It can be lack of forgiveness for a person, place, or thing. It can be, uh, you may be saying, if I just had the money. Um, it doesn't matter. It can be anything that you believe without using your left brain, excuse me, your left brain, what it is. If you will ask, coming from love, you will immediately get the cause of what is blocking you. And usually it's a not good enough message that somebody gave you, or it's a, a, a belief that you're not good enough, that's not true, or something that you're afraid of, which is holding you back. And whenever you have that, you take it and you fling it up to the universe. You send it to God. You let it go completely. And you are left with what you, what your heart's desire is. And I can promise you when you come from love and you ask if there are any tears that run down your face, you're in a state of love and you have asked for what you really and truly want. Now, you can ask for you. You can send out a prayer for other people. However, it's up to them to receive it. I hope I'm making sense. So, we see what's blocking us. We've let it go. And now what we are going to do is go back to that time when we were born. And I'll put my hand back on my heart to keep the love going. When you were born, you were pure love. You had not been programmed yet. Um, well, perhaps you were programmed on some level because you even as an embryo, you hear what's going on around you. However, it's at the moment of birth that the programming kicks in because that's when it starts. And so what you're going to do is go back to the time when you were born. And when I tell you, we'll do this together. You're going to say your complete name that you were given when you were born. Not your married name, not all the names that you have strung on since you were married the first time, just your real name that you were given as a newborn baby. And then I'm going to give you some acceptances that will truly open you up to receiving what you want. So when I tell you to, we're going to say I, and follow at the count of three, you will say your full name at birth. So I, full name at birth. Take back my heart. Take back my soul. I take back my mind. 
I take back my body. You can see that these are yours and they may have been taken away from you. I take back my honor. I take back my, my identity. Your identity is God in earthbound form. I take back my God-given power. I take back my self-respect. I take back my life. And now let all of God's loving energy pour down from the top of your head through every cell in your body as you take back your heart, your soul, your mind, your body, your honor, your identity, your God-given power, your self-respect, as you take back your life. And all of God's love starts with the seventh chakra at the top of your head, and it fills you up all the way down to the soles of your feet and then back out to the universe because we are one with the whole. And now that we are in this exquisite space, normally if I were outside with you guys, with 50, 60, 70 people, I would move around the circle and give everybody a mantra because that mantra is not only for the person who is receiving it, who brought it to the circle, but it's for everybody in the circle. Remember, we are one. What happens to one of us happens to all of us. We when we come from love, the law of attraction brings us love. And everyone vibrating at that level experiences the love of the universe. And the converse is also true. Well, I made up a bunch of star cards many years ago, and I love them. And so these are what I wanted. I didn't want anything that was questionable. I wanted something that was going to lift me up. So I'm gonna pull a bunch of star cards right now, read them out loud as I read them, accept this as your mantra because that's what we do at the full moon ceremony at the Phoenix and Dragon. I give the person the mantra and then we all repeat it. And we're so grateful for that person for bringing that mantra to us. So here's our first mantra. Claim your success. And your mantra is, I, I claim my success. I can hear hundreds of voices saying that now. People like you. Your mantra, people like me. Doesn't that feel good? You are a superstar. Mantra, I am a superstar. Go for it. You are radiant. I am radiant. Mm -hmm. Live your destiny. I live my destiny. You are magnificent. I am magnificent. That's your mantra, you say that. 
You are free. I am free. Live your calling. I live my calling. Feeling good? Claim your prosperity. I claim my prosperity. Boy, I, feel, I felt people jump on that. You have strength. I have strength. You are awesome. I am awesome. And lastly, receive. I receive. So dear friends, thank you so much for joining me at my full moon ceremony. I hope that you are enjoying this. I hope you're sharing this with your friends. Please feel free to send this to anybody you know who could use uh, a lift, a virtual hug, love, and all of these wonderful mantras. And until we meet again, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.